Okay, here's how, what I do for hurricane prep. First of all, this hive, I have a honey super on it that's almost full, so they have plenty of food stores on it, so I'm not worried about adding an, in an internal feeder. I have ground anchors on each side of the hive, connected by a ratchet strap going over the top and securing everything down. And the entire thing is also up on a wooden spool for elevation to, keep, to protect from flooding. It, if a storm does come, I have a mouse guard introducer that I can just drop down real quick now and I'm ready to go. In the meantime, the bees are able to come go as they ne need. No issues. And in the event of storm, I just close the entrance and they're good to go. Reduce the entrance and they're good to go. On the other hive, I had a little bit of issues this morning as I had to do a combine between two nukes that I had split. The storm we had passed through on Labor Day Monday knocked out one of my hives, knocked out the split I had just done like the, a few days before. So I put a new queen in it, but the queen dis has disappeared. So I have, I have a split on this one. And for some reason, and I did this again on the same thing. I have ground anchors on either side. Straps going over the top on, to on top of a big spool. However, inside this inside here, as soon as I get through the newspaper, I have a two frame feeder taking it inside that. So I have five frames, three frames, and a two frame feeder. The entrance reducer will be fine on here. If need be, I'll come by with some foam, with some sponge, and close close that up, close off the entrance of that one before the storm. All right now we have Florence. Does not look like she's going to bother us. And let's see what's. Helene is it going to be a fish storm, only affecting fish it looks like. But Isaac has a possibility of coming this way too. We're going to wait to see what happens with that. But in the meantime, this, that's, this is how I prep for hurricanes. Ground, nice ground anchor. I'll show you actually one that's out in the back of the truck still. So you see how long it is. It's about a four inch diameter paddle and about about two and a half, about two feet long. So it's fa it's fairly not not too bulky. They're fairly cheap if I remember. They're less than ten bucks at Harbor Freight. I mean not at Tractor Supply. But that barn over there is held on, held down by four of those, this same size, and that has survived. Uh, was it Irma and Matthew both, including a tornado touchdown at the farm during Irma, and that barn still stayed standing. So, so that's what our hurricane prep and storm prep for our hives.